I urge you to clock how quickly somebody tries to change the conversation and or the sheer panic in their eyes that you're talking to them about something that fucking reflects reality. It's almost as if something in the back of their brain is telling them that they are not allowed to talk about that subject matter. We have these shells that we, you know, truck around with. This is the only way we can express the light that's imbued within. Which means, I mean, by definition, there's a superficial aspect to how society, how reality, how you and I function. This lends itself to why the ancients, you know, considered this crude matter, you know, corrupt. And by all rights, it is. I mean, we live off of our feces. You know, the baby mice that live in our guts. (laughs) Bad jokes. (laughs) We quite literally feed off our shit. That's how it works. I mean... You see it. It's why things like, uh, you know, uh, this is a compost heap, blah, blah, blah. I'm paraphrasing, you know, Czech Palahniuk stuff um, from the Fight Club jazz. I mean, it's it's true. It's, you know, the Wheel of Samsara and all the other names associated with it. <clears throat> Part of the reason I'm rattling this off is well before I pulled my head out of my ass, I mean, prior to 10 years ago, I mean, most of my fucking life, Um, I had realized other things, but they were nowhere near as, they weren't profound. They were neat. They were, for the most part, artsy, this, that, and the other thing, and or uh, my least favorite fucking subject, which is superficial politics, religion, society, etc., etc. That shit never fooled me, but it fools most people, which is why most people will tell you that taxes pay for roads and voting matters and they'll do whatever the fucking television tells them to do or whatever the newspaper says or whatever most idiots out there echo unfortunately and that's why things are bad and that's why things are getting worse and that's why things were you know that's why things got worse because most people haven't figured out a fucking thing so what i'm getting at is and you'll probably experience this too if you got anything neat on the inside That you could otherwise, you know, impart to somebody. But the trouble is, is superficial society doesn't want to hear those things. Um, I just ran around in the world. I had interactions with some acquaintances that I know, you know, in passing. And we get along, you know, it's a a congenial affair, if you will. Um, You know, smiles, this, that, and the other thing. Small talk, sometimes the weather. That type of shit. But the really cool stuff, if you bring any of that up, people will tune the fuck out. Especially what I was getting at with the profound stuff. No one wants to fucking hear that, typically speaking, especially out there in the world. You know, the the world, which is really a realm by and large, and people haven't figured that out. I like to stress that because you got the flat earth duds and you got the globe theory, you know, twats, and neither of them have figured that out. There are master's outlines. People haven't figured it out. They're both polarizing campaigns in place to mislead, subjugate, and all around, uh, did I say mislead? Yes, manipulate us. And they're doing quite well because most people have bought into one of those two football games, you know, the blue versus the red. Um, Yeah. So if you talk about superficial shit on the surface with folks, they'll be receptive. If you don't do that, you'll probably be seen as a little strange because you want to talk about something that's actually meaningful, something that goes somewhere, does something, reflects reality, and by all rights, other people should know and be interested in, at least to limiting degrees across the board. It's a spectrum, keep in mind, a spectrum of subjects, all of which are interconnected, all of which reflect reality. None of which are dressed up in the paradigms you could think of. If you can think of a title of a subject, you know, subject matter out there that has been spoon fed to the masses, it's going to be rife with adult fairy tales, with propaganda, with misleading information, which is by all rights propaganda or disinformation. It's, it's a slush pile of nonsense, and that's what people think they know, which is why if you try to talk to somebody about something else, it's not going to go well. That's what I've experienced my entire life. And it's only worse now because there's a divide. I mean, the gap, (laughs) uh, it lengthens, it deepens. It's it's even harder to bridge. 
with all the narcissistic superficial duds that are being shit out. It's worse than ever before. <laughs> That's an understatement. Um, and it's absolutely unfortunate. And if people realize that to begin with, if people just thought for themselves, the gap wouldn't be there to begin with. I mean, well, I shouldn't... Okay, no, that's not absolutely true. There would still be... I'm overthinking. Pardon me. You and I will always have a different understanding of things. I'm not saying your reality, my reality, or your truth, his truth, my truth. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about we have a limited set of things that you and I both know. And they're going to be very different. Apples to oranges, so to speak. I was going to grab some visual aids. <laughs> we don't need to do that. It's going to be different. So I'm going to know some stuff that you don't know, and you're going to know stuff that I don't know, is the point. But I guess the bigger point is, is what you and I, you know, quote unquote, know, does it actually reflect reality? Is it interconnected? Is it all those other things? And if it is, there's still going to be a divide. There's still going to be a gap between those two things. And we'll probably never, ever be able to fill it all in. We can create a bridge and we can create understanding between one another in terms of knowledge, not wisdom, but knowledge. And we can help each other along the way. But if you think of a harmonious system versus a disharmonious system, if most people you bump into don't have the first fucking clue, the smallest things that reflect reality, that is by all rights disharmonious. If they're all talking about a sludge pile of propaganda, you know, adult fairy tales, paradigms, rabbit holes that go nowhere, mean nothing, and are fuck all, it is a disharmonious system perpetuating more disharmony. In stark contrast to something that would benefit you and I. And that's what we see. But most people don't have eyes to see, which means this isn't a clear and present issue. It should be, and it would have been this entire time, but it's not. Hopefully I painted a muddy picture for some of you. Hopefully some of you at least think in terms of what I'm rattling off in here. Part of me wants to keep kicking the dead horse in terms of just interactions I've had throughout the fucking calendar cycles. You guys would experience this too. Maybe you have to limiting degrees again. Say some of you did what I did early on in life and you realize, you know, politics, religion, society, all that shit is superficial and it's a fucking joke. It's an outline again. Not unlike all those subjects that I was getting at. It's an outline of parameters and jurisdictions, you know, or spheres, if you will. Of limited understanding, that's one way to put it, that people fall into. And that's what they repeat. And by doing so, they maintain yours and mine our cageless prison. Because they effectively work for our masters, they just don't realize it in most cases. Um, usually what I'll rattle off is they're working for our masters, but they're not getting paid for it in most cases, unless, you know, they're a spook or, a, you know, a, a CIA asset or, you know, controlled opposition by all rights. Um, and some of them are these days. You know, some of the social influencers... And they're just shitting out more kids like this. They're really widening that gap that I was getting at. Which means it's going to be even harder to convey information. Usually what I'll do is I'll bitch online about how people are, you know, below average. They lack abstract thought and all that stuff. And they fucking do. So, in terms of trying to convey any of this to somebody, some of the meaningful shit that actually reflects reality... For the most part, it's damn near impossible because they can't fucking reason things out. They can't connect dots. And you'll see this if you interact with people in real life and or online. Most of the kids out there, they deadpan. It's crickets, it's, it's all those other things. And or, I mean, these days, what it's relegated to online is <laughs> one of these brain-dead kids will tell you, they will respond with, Reply with a GIF, or post a GIF. That's how far gone we are. That's how fucking ridiculous this is. But most people don't see it for what it is. They understand that something's wrong because it's disharmonious. But they don't realize how they're contributing to it. Alright, as always, what the fuck do I know if you hung out? Thanks for your time and energy. 
I can teach you things you're not supposed to know, but 